afternoon. My name is uh, Ajit V. Chavan. I'm additional CEO uh, working in a government company called Government E-Marketplace. Uh, let me just uh, take a brief, uh, you know, uh, survey from the, from the audience. Please raise your hands if you've heard about uh, Government E-Marketplace. Is there any who, oh, quite a few people have heard about it. So, uh, you would also please raise hands if you are actually onboarded on the gym, uh, uh, on the gym portal. Okay, there are a few people, right. So, uh, basically I would like to talk uh, about uh, uh, Government E-Marketplace where I am working and uh, it's an actually, it's, it's an excellent uh, use case of uh, 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 a beautiful partnership between industry and uh, the government. Uh, where innovation, entrepreneurship, inclusion are the hastes and, and they've been married together so well that uh, actually we are, we are one of the startups of government. You know, we are eight years old now and uh, uh, it's a not-for-profit company. Uh, we started with 422 crore as our gross mercantile value, that is, that, that is the value transacted on the platform in the year 2016 and today Rather, last year we ended up with four lakh crores, which is which would be fifty billion dollars uh, as the GMV. So this is a great success story that we would like to you know um, you know exhibit, uh, exhibit or talk about where industry and government have come together and put uh, put such a such a wonderful uh, you know uh, successful uh, use case. So. Uh, Yeah, so uh, another another big uh, uh, this thing, a big point about the government e-marketplace is today it is third uh, third largest e-procurement portal. It's a B2G portal. It's it's not we don't do retail. We do uh, business to government. It's third largest. Probably we would be second and and who knows we would be first uh, largest in the world this year or next year. And uh, we do we deal with goods and services. So anything and everything that the government <laughs> Government of India or the state government or the third tier of government, that is the Panchayat Raj, anything that they need to buy, they have to buy on the platform. They, they would be buying on the platform. So uh, I'll just run you through uh, the presentation. It's it's not a very a very arduous presentation. Uh, it started in 2016. Prior to 2016, uh, there were different organizations doing different uh, procurements in a piecemeal manner. Uh, complying to various uh, different uh, rules and regulations as, as, as a government organization or a, as public procurement, you know, there are a lot of, lot of uh, parameters that we have to look after, uh, which go much beyond the pricing and uh, the quality parameters. So, so compliance to, let's say for instance, make in India policy, compliance to purchase preference to MSEs is something that we need to, you know, weave into our, our procurement plan. So uh, 2016 is when the government at the highest level took a decision that uh, we would bring all of this together in the form of an end-to-end uh, uh, one-stop uh, online portal. And that's when GEM took, uh, you know, uh, birth. And uh, we, are, we are very happy to say that in the last eight years, we have been, cumulatively speaking, we've done a business of almost 10 lakh crores. And mind you, all of this business or, or a large part of this business goes to the micro and small enterprises in the country. So we have kind of uh, democratized uh, the procurement. Anybody who's at, at any any corner of the country can participate, being part of the portal and can participate in any big uh, order. Maybe, you know, uh, one of the largest orders that we have transacted is as big as 20,000 crore. And, and we also transact in very small orders like 50, you know, 10,000, 5,000, 3,000 uh, rupees. So uh, the core values in GEM is uh, transparency, efficiency, and uh, inclusiveness. Of course, we are cashless, paperless uh, initiative. And uh, this is how we are stacked up. Uh, today we have, uh, we boast of more than 1.5 lakh primary buyers. That is, that is the guys who would be buying every time. Anything that they need in their offices, these are the guys who would be buying. So 1.5 billion, uh, 1.5 uh, lakh uh, registered buyers across three 
tiers of the government, central government, state government, and the panchayati raj, local self governments. Okay. Uh, uh, in terms of sellers, we 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 the metrics is three. Uh, you know, there are three different uh, yardstick of uh, measuring sellers. One is uh, somebody who's shown interest in the platform. So there are 90 lakh of them. Every month, one and a half lakh people are joining this uh, bandwagon. So 90 lakh people, uh, entrepreneurs, are have shown interest of being part of the uh, gem platform. Then of them, somebody who takes a little more uh, steps, you know, shares their, uh, completes their registration and other formalities, shares the bank details and, and their uh, PAN and the other credentials. This kind of people, there are 23 lakh of them currently on the platform, uh, whom we call profile completed. And the ones who completed the whole seller journey is, uh, you know, uh, we've said 2.85, it is, it is a very dynamic figure. So some time ago, it was 3.10 uh, uh, lakh people. So these are the these are the sellers who are actually active on the platform, are able to take part in the uh, in the market linkage that we provide in them. The uh, the platform uh, you know boasts of a very wide array of uh, uh, you know bouquet of goods and services. As I said, we don't uh, deal with uh, uh, projects as yet. So concrete and and the cement and the infrastructure that the earlier speakers were talking are uh, unfortunately not there for the moment for us. But we deal with goods and services and there are almost uh, 8,631 different uh, life categories of uh, products that are offered on the platform and almost 320, 325, uh, 24 uh, uh, service categories. So, so basically uh, the, uh, the refrain is anything and everything, including the startups, including the 14 uh, internationally recognized uh, uh, startup segments are uh, provided for on the platform. So we've done uh, this year itself, we've done two lakh crore already. We are in the fifth, uh, fifth month and we've done two lakh crore. Probably this year we would end up with, uh, like last year we did four, four lakh crore. This time probably we would end up with six to seven lakh uh, crore worth of gross merchandise value on the platform. So uh, it's 24 by seven, uh, you know, and uh, what, what is it in for the, for the government? Basically there are a lot of studies. We, I'm just quoting one study which was done by World Bank for us that, uh, uh, you know, being uh, this initiative has resulted into at least on a, on a very conservative uh, basis, a saving of almost 10% of the gross merchandise value. So, so let's say if I'm talking about 10 lakh crore worth of business happening on the platform, we would have already helped government save almost 1 lakh crore worth of uh, money. And, and, uh, and you would appreciate that uh, for a developing country, one lakh crore would be a huge amount of money being uh, saved for the government. So uh, all, uh, you, you know, by virtue of the spectrum of the buyers and the sellers that are on board on the platform, we, we have enabled everybody's, uh, you know, uh, requirements. So there are, this, are, this is a little technical, but you know, anybody who can, uh, who would want to buy a particular thing can buy in, in the following uh, ways. There, these are procurement modes. So for instance, the closest to a B2C is direct purchase. So there are, there are sellers who have uploaded their uh, SKUs or we call them uh, offerings. If they have uh, uploaded there and the value of which is less than 50,000, any government buyer can just go there and buy it, uh, no questions asked. Okay, then the next mode of procurement is an L1 mode of procurement, where up to value of 10 lakh, you know, the government buyer can uh, compare three products, TK, uh, from three o OEMs, that is the original equipment manufacturer, and can uh, buy it. Only thing is, the buying decision is a little an anonymized in the sense that buyer would not know, know who's the seller. So the, sell, the selling decision will be based on the L1, that is the lowest priced of the three, three comparisons. So on so forth, so there is uh, then uh, beyond 10 lakh, it is, there's going to be a uh, tender where people have to participate and give their best prices. Then it also enables people to buy a particular you know, product, which is a niche product. Let's say you have a product, which is very niche product, which is manufactured only by you, or it's an innovative product and there cannot be a, a efficient discovery price through competition because there's simply there are no competitors. 
So those kind of uh, you know uh, procurement decisions can be done under the intent of buying PSE, PSE mode, so on so forth. So uh, we have an all India footprint. Uh, we have signed up with 27. Uh, we have signed up 27 MOUs with states and eight uh, union territories. We deal with the, the lot of financial institutions that we deal with. This is a very technology heavy platform. We have integrations done with almost all the major uh, major you know databases of the country regulatory databases so that you know when you enter as a seller you don't have to uh, you know that redundancy of putting those entire information is not there you just need to let's say if you put your aadhar number it would get uh, you know uh, the the systems will enable that uh, details to be fetched from the aadhar or verification or authentication will be done uh, seamlessly similarly if you if you put your uh, pan number all of your details that are available in the data, uh, PAN database would be fetched through the integrations that we have uh, enabled on the platform. We also deal with huge amount of you know stakeholders who are uh, who are the industry. So small, uh, small and medium enterprises, the big ones, the CIs, FICIs, and the, and the smaller ones. Everyone uh, are stakeholders, and we work very closely with them. Uh, this is the technology that I was talking about. We have almost 20 API integrations. 28 ERP integrations and, and growing by the day, we are uh, one of our uh, very important stakeholders is the central public sector undertakings. So, uh, so we have integrated with their ERP system so that you know uh, the transactions are done um, seamlessly. Uh, there are a lot of bank integrations. Then uh, you know there's something called uh, uh, we as part of our inclusion mandate, we are a little more sensitive towards the needs of the MSEs. So 39% of the business that I talked about that has been transacted on the platform has actually gone, value-wise has gone to the micro and small enterprises of the country. And uh, we've also come out with some innovative products. Uh, one of the innovative products that I, I'm very fond of talking is the Gem Sahai Initiative of Government of uh, government E-Marketplace where you know we've taken a break from the cash flow based uh, 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 lending and we've, we've moved on to the uh, collateral uh, collateral based uh, digital lending where we promise our, our promise to our cust uh, our uh, registered play, uh, sellers is if he is an MSE uh, and he's onboarded on the gem uh, based on the order that he gets on the platform you know we are endeavoring to give him that facility that uh, we uh, a product called 10 by 10 by 10 which is uh, up to 10 lakh of loan without collateral is given to them within 10 minutes of time and preferably the endeavor is at sub 10 percent interest rate so this is this i'm I, i'm wanting uh, this message to go out probably today it is 10 lakh tomorrow it could be 40 lakh 30 lakh we don't know but this is what we're trying to do to address the the capital challenges the the challenges that uh, that are faced by the MSCs. actually actually there are three more uh, three challenges that MSCs face one was a market linkage that we provided through, you know, you all you need to do is endure our registration process, be part of it, and then you are you are on, on, on a platform where you don't need to look out for a consultant, you don't need to look out for any newspapers or advertisements, everything will be available in your inbox. So that's that's the market linkage that we provided. Then we've uh, the, 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 the problem of cash, uh, the problem of, um, you know, Cap uh, working capital has been resolved through James Sahai. And then we have also tied up with few, uh, you know, all India level uh, organizations which provide hand holding support to these S uh, SMEs and, and the underserved sellers to be onboarded on the platform. So today we, we are dealing uh, very closely to just to name a few partners. Uh, there's, a, there's a body of mighty called uh, CSC, Common Service, uh, Service Providers, they are. You, you would have seen that passport uh, seva kendra if you've seen uh, the hinterland so so these are the guys who are trained in hand holding the the would be sellers so that they can come and uh, go there and onboard themselves and mind you the cost of onboarding on the platform is borne by gem not by the uh, by the seller so uh, we also uh, using natural language processing we are we, we are a good use case for advanced analytics just about ai use cases we, we we are there you know any new thing that is happening in the technology field we are we have tried to put it uh, in use in in the gem uh, there are 
obviously there are there has to be advantages for people to be transacting uh, these are a few advantages that it's an end to end uh, registration uh, portal uh, in terms of efficiency you know what used to what used to be a 42 day cycle for procurement let's say of any 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 good by a government has now come down to 7 days 6 days 10 days so there's a huge amount of savings in terms of time saved as well as the money saved for the buyers provides transparency huge bouquet of uh, products and services uh, you can compare using technology you can compare the reasonability of prices so on so forth so price trends are also available uh, there's a dashboard available where you can see everything on one platform similarly there are advantages for the sellers the major one being that you have direct access to a huge marketplace 50 billion uh, and ever increasing kind of a market uh, 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 place uh, it's a one stop shop you don't have to hunt for uh, various other sources you have to be if you are there on the platform you would get automated uh, you know notifications about whatever is happening of your interest let's say if you are you have onboarded yourself as a, as a seller of television or as a as a as a oem manufacturer of television any television uh, bid will be you know uh, notified to uh, you guys uh, yeah, I've already spoken about this. Uh, yeah, uh, there's one more thing that I want to talk uh, is that uh, there's a pride, there's a place of pride on uh, Gem for the startups. We have onboarded 27,000 startups, and this year we've got to do it on a mission mode. We're trying to. There are there are around to the the, the last uh, information that I had was that we have one one hundred twenty five thousand startups in the country who are DPIIT registered. We already have 27,000 of them on our platform who've done almost 25,000 crore worth of business since inception. And this year, we're trying to onboard most of the DPIIT registered startups. So there's going to be a special campaign that we're going to run. And uh, I would urge if you are a startup and you're not on GEM, please uh, look up for our social media handles uh, or, or directly go to the registration page and uh, and by the way, we are fairly active on the social media, so uh, you would love to uh, receive our uh, messages on the platform. So please look up, if you are a startup, look up for this opportunity, be a part of it. And uh, transparency, of course, just about anything that I get to see, what you get to see is what I get to see. So I have no other privilege, even as being an additional CEO. So, so anything and everything, almost everything is on the, on the public platform. And uh, well, these are these are part of you know being user friendly. So buyers, buyers, all kinds of buyers are uh, onboarded on the platform. And uh, however the structure of the buyer organization is, we have tried to map them on the platform. Similarly, sellers, yeah, sellers also all kinds of sellers are on the platform. Be it a, a weaver or a, a you know a handicraft person or be it a startup. Uh, uh, be it uh, MSc or an MNC. Only thing is there's a government policy where people who share border with the country, these are the people who cannot come as sellers directly onto the platform. So that's that's one way of trying to promote uh, Make in India. We've gone out of the way consciously to ensure that Make in India happens in this country. And this is one good uh, platform where all of this is happening. So uh, there are uh, we have social media handles. We you can you guys can reach out to us through uh, our our chat bot is there. Then there are social media handles are there. We have a dedicated helpline. We have a email. We have a dedicated seller cell. We have a call center where you guys all you have got to do is uh, check the website which is government uh, uh, gem dot gov dot in and almost and we have yes yeah uh, we have interactive. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, 12, 12 language uh, interactive modules where people can undergo whatever training is required for whatever role you would want to come in as. So let's say if you want to do registration, you are sitting in Tamil Nadu and you want to know it in Tamil language, that's available. Uh, so a PowerPoint presentation will be there. There would be, um, uh, you know, a video also would be there. And we regularly hold a lot of... Uh, if you go to the website and the and the top uh, at the bottom of the website you'll find that we hold regular training sessions where people can join for free there's no cost to it so that you know this is our way to be inclusive our way of giving uh, providing 
uh, as much uh, you know as much as an opportunity that uh, any government can uh, uh, can offer so that was my pitch for you guys thank you so much thank you entrepreneur to uh, 2024 for giving us this opportunity and thank you audience you've been lovely uh, you know uh, listening patiently to me thank you very much thank you